All right, everybody, welcome to the Service MVP podcast. And my name is Joe Crisera. And today we have a very special guest. My guest is named Michael Bears, and he is with a company called Free to Grow. Michael, welcome to our podcast. How are you doing today? Thank you so much, Uncle Joe. It's a pleasure to be here, man. Well, Michael, I have a special place in my heart for Michael because he is one of my students who has gone on to great things. He is with a company called Free to Grow, and Free to Grow has taken on a a service called call by call management as a service. Uh, this is where instead of trying to develop your own people to do it, you just hire free to grow. And uh, we will show you some of the amazing results that that company has gotten with their beta test and how it is now open to the public for all of you to take on. If you want to get a salesperson who has got a great personality and who can uh, get higher average tickets, and also help manage your service team to a degree uh, to make sure their jobs are done right, uh, then you've come to the right place today. Michael, let's start with this thing. Uh, Michael, why did Free to Grow get into this part of the business? Why did this something that in, uh, something that inspired them to get started with? Why was that? So Free to Grow started approximately three and a half years ago. They saw a real need for a fractional CSR, DSR, CRM, remote management type of thing. They've had tremendous success with that. They are taking care of approximately 30 plus companies at the moment. Most of those are trades companies, plumbing, HVAC, electrical, garage doors. Then we realized that there is a, a tremendous need for call by call management with this virtual sales platform. So we decided to roll that out um, end of May and we're, it's, it's just taken off. So we're having phenomenal success with it. Well, that's really great. I mean, you know, when Nathan and uh, Charlie, who owned the company, brought this to me, I said, I think it's a great idea. And I said, of course, <clears throat> I would only uh, be able to help you if you were going to make sure you're using our program, right? So uh, talk, right. let's talk about the connection between uh, Free to Grow and Service MVP and uh, how, how dedicated you are to using what we do uh, in your process. Well, let me just start with after coming back from L.A., and seeing for myself the whole process and what service MVP brings to the table. I've been in the trades 24 years. I'm a licensed master plumber. I've owned four different variations of service companies that have all done pretty well. Um, and I've been a very high producer the entire time, but I left your training and looked at Michael Munoz and said, I've been doing it all wrong. That I realized, <laughs> I realized now that if I would have um, implemented this call by call process with the six options and the pure mode of service that I could have easily added 20 30% to our bottom line year over year. So, so describe a little bit about what this looks like on a day to day basis. So call by call management is like here you are a salesperson and helping to guide the team the service team. And then uh, you're available to them for sales leads and you actually make a presentation via Zoom. Give us a little bit of a, a thumbnail about what this whole thing looks like. So it starts with um, a person like me or someone like myself showing up on site. We stay for approximately a week. We meet your team. We meet your dispatchers, introduce ourselves. We show the process and we start making you money from day one. Um, we start with morning huddles with the entire team. We go over um, the previous day's calls, and you know, we uh, praise coach yourself with those with those meetings in the morning huddle. So we go over the wins, we go over things we could have done better, and we go over any problems that that might have occurred. Then we talk about today's today's board, what they're all walking into, and make sure that they know that myself or someone like me is going to be available for them in real time for whatever they need. Mm. So then, as they're on their way to each call. A message gets sent to the technician and says, hey, you're walking into this. I see they're a previous customer, they're a first time customer, whatever that may be. Um, and basically just pump them up, you know, get them ready to get in the game um, and then let them know that we're available and that um, as soon as they get on site and see what they're dealing with, what's the size of the system or what's wrong with the plumbing or whatever that case may be, then they're starting to shoot back a text. All right, this is what I found. I'm getting ready to write up some options. While they're writing up their options, I'm watching them write up their options in real time, and I'm correcting them if I see anything that needs to be moved, changed, or reconfigured. And before they present options, when it's warranted, they're going to the client and they're letting them know that, hey, my project manager is going to call you right now because we really feel like you need to um, you need to kind of see the big picture of what's going on here. And then myself or someone like me calls the customer, 
basically tells them what's going on. I just talked to, you know, I just talked to Joe. I know he's at your house today, gave me the background of your system. So uh, I would like to jump on a quick Zoom call with you and make sure that you are educated enough to make the best decision for you and your home. And boom, it's just, it's been a done deal. We've had no pushback from people jumping onto Zoom everywhere from young people to old people are super excited about it. And then from there, we present those options. And if they don't do the replacement, they're going with a repair about 90% of the time. So we're getting something out of each call. So the idea is the customer sees both things. They see both the repair options and they see the replacement options. And really what you're presenting here is a great service. So number one, the primary focus, it sounds like to me, is that free to grow is, is really focusing on the service that the and the experience that the client gets is a world-class experience. Does that make sense, Michael? It absolutely does. That's that's why we're here, Joe. I mean, we're not here to sell them anything. We're here to empower and educate them and let them make the best decision for their home. It's just that simple. And we're finding that when we do that, 80% of the time they're buying. So, you know, it sounds almost too good to be true. I get sort of a sales manager, a service sales manager, and a salesperson with the same effort, right? <laughs> And so right. d during right. that week, during that week, you're out there, obviously, you're there to get the credibility of the team. And then after you leave there, because you, you have contact with them every single day, and you're doing this, continuing on with this huddle and this type of a situation here after the after you go back out there, back back home, uh, you're available to this team then from that point forward then, right, Michael? Yeah, correct. So the, the ideal situation is going to be we go on, we onboard for a week, we have some boots on the ground, we meet the entire team, we make sure everybody's on the same page from dispatch, management, technicians, um, and that they know the um, the call by call manager that they're going to be dealing with and that that's all been introduced. So everybody's on that same page there. And then after that, for two weeks, roughly or whatever is needed, then we have aftercare available where myself or someone like me is available along with their call coach so that we're all meeting daily and just maximizing every opportunity. That is awesome. And so <clears throat> what are the results you get? Uh, ha, does this positive, does, does this take away from the service calls that the service guys make, or does that enhance those service calls when it does that? And I know the obvious thing you're going to tell us is that, the sales jobs you're selling on equipment replacement and things like that are better. But what about the other part of it there with the, uh, with the service calls? Are those, uh, are those suffering because of your service or do those grow because of your service? No, they're absolutely growing. We're finding that instead of getting a basic minor repair, the people are at least choosing that mid grade option on the repair side as well. You know, numbers we're showing now is average tickets on repairs are up 20%. Conversion rates on those are up 30%. Average ticket on replacements are up 40% and conversion rates on those are up 35% compared to national averages. So, wow, that is amazing. That is really great. So, so even on the service end of it, uh, so there's two, even though you're paying for one service, which is to get lead turnovers and sell equipment jobs, you get another service for free, which is to get your service team kind of on track. It sounds like to me as well. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Yep. Yep. You're, you're not only getting a call by call manager, you're getting a mentor, you you know, someone that's going to take care of this entire team from start to finish. Hmm. And then uh, the management of the project, you get, you teach the guys in the field who are out there doing it to gather the information so that we have all the photographs, videos, tell us about that project management element after the job is sold. So let's say we sell equipment or we sell a repair. Let's say we sell equipment though. And now you got a, you know, $20,000 job you sell or something like that, or, uh, and you got the finance, you offer financing and things like that for the company, right. half of the company and things like that. Right. So all this stuff is wrapped together and it sounds like a perfect package. Uh, how about the part that probably a lot of people are worried about uh, who's going to get the project management data so that the installation team can do the job, right? How's that work, Michael? So the way it works is, yeah, while the technician is there, they're getting all the videos, the pictures, and basically looking at everything we're going to need if it rolls over to a replacement, uh, um, side. So what we're seeing is like for me being a comfort advisor and being in the field for many, many, many years, you could run three, maybe four calls a day, depending on your windshield time. But each call would take anywhere from an hour and a half to three hours because you're the one that's there taking all the pictures, the videos and measurements and everything else. Well, now we've cut that in half because the technicians there is doing all that. Then the project manager gets online, sells the job. All the information has already been gathered, and then that just gets transferred over to the install team. So 
we're seeing now that the average um, the average time with a client on Zoom is 30 minutes or less. Wow. So really uh, a great use of time. And how about the other resources? Uh, it sounds like this is this saves contractors a lot of other resources like trucks and insurance. Tell us about the other resources that now contractors, if they were to take on a service like this, wouldn't have to spend. What, what would that be? Correct. So anybody that's ever done a breakdown of what it costs to have each truck on the road, a couple of years ago when we did it in, in the market where my last company was in Colorado, it was $250,000 plus a year to keep that vehicle on the road. That's your licensing, insurance, taxes, uh, salaries, all of that. And we eliminate all of that. That's so amazing. we're we're increasing productivity, we're increasing average tickets, we're increasing conversion rates, and we are completely eliminating your need for any of that overhead. And you're following the total immersion system, the service MVP total immersion system. And so the average sale, uh, talks, talk, uh, we did talk about some of the service results you're getting just by monitoring the team. Hmm, let's talk about the sales results. Uh, the, you, have a, you have a beta company you're working with in the Southern United States, right? Uh, mm -hmm. that you, you got going. You, this is now, now we're all talking about actual results here. So, uh, so let's talk about the average invoice based on what they were doing compared to what they are doing now. How, how much what, How much did the average invoice grow uh, compared to what they were doing before on the, on the equipment? Average invoice on the repair side is up 20% and the average invoice on the replacement side is up 40%. Wow. So on that part of it, you've seen a grow, uh, an increase in 40% of revenue in that part of it. And how about uh, selling a service agreements and that kind of stuff? Is that something that's included as well there too? Uh, yeah, I'm going to say that service agreements are probably up 30 to 40% as well. Because mm -hmm. you're getting because you're getting a multiple year of service agreement being sold now, where before the team might have only sold one year of service. <laughs> you guys are probably averaging four or five years of service on every time you do an install, where it's even more than that probably sometimes, right? Yeah, so like the beta, the company we're working with now, our premium option is a 10, 10, 10, 10 year parts, 10 year labor, and a 10 year service club membership. We step down a little bit with each of those, but what we're finding is with this pure mode of service and the service MVP model and giving giving six options, two premium, two mid range, two economy, about 50% of the time, we're never getting past the um, the silver option. Wow. So people are going for those type, the premium options more so than they are the economy Correct. options overall. Correct. Oh, my, Michael, uh, I tell you what, this is uh, probably a lot of contractors listening to this and they're probably trying to catch their breath because it sounds by all means probably good, but you know how contractors are. You used to be one yourself, you said, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> you can imagine that they might be saying, this sounds too good to be true. And uh uh, this got to cost a lot, a, a boatload of money, probably you're thinking here, right? But Michael, how much is the cost of this pro of this program that you offer? Is this a, a high high investment for this? Tell me about it. So what what I would say is like like any proper investment, if if you're if it's costing you money, we're not doing it right. So our goal is to get in there. And the nice thing about this too, this whole process is once we get boots on the ground to do the onboarding, we're selling from day one. We've got your team connected with the, with the project manager and you're starting to make money and see the improvements from day one. Whereas we're not pulling anybody out of the field to send them for training and do all of that. So, I mean, how much does that cost, you know, lot, each, yeah. each client? Right. right. Wow. So, so basically uh, you're, you're saying this is, this is a, a paid for as, as with any good service, the client pays for everything. Right. And just like they pay for service tax and they pay for salespeople now, uh, would you say if I had to compare this uh, overall expense, if I took a look at the, uh, the amount of money it takes to onboard some of you going out there for a week, you treat you teach the team, you then get a you probably get a percentage or a uh, piece of the action for when you sell jobs. Does that sound correct? Yes. Let's take a look at the big picture. Uh, how does it compare with what you would pay a normal salesperson? So industry average right now across the country is uh, sales guys are getting somewhere between 8 and 12%, right, depending on the volume. And then you have all their overhead. We're charging a flat 12%. And it's it's going to be perspective based depending on how big the company is and those kind of things. But a flat rate, 12%. And we are seeing that you will make your, you'll see an ROI within the first four weeks. Amazing. 
amazing. So, and, and put it this way, there's no truck, there's no insurance, no workman's comp, no have to do HR paperwork. No <laughs> HR like, paperwork, no, like no, that, law, right? no lawsuits. No, tru no, tru no truck, no truck. No, no, no calls, no, no calls to your dispatchers saying your guy's driving like a, you know what? And yeah, we yeah, eliminate, yeah. we eliminate all that. And then, as you know, anytime you have more than five or ten trucks on the road, then we have the accident factor that we have to start factoring in. Totally, totally. And then you have exhaustion, and you know, you, you have the sales guy hanging around your office who's not doing anything, uh, creating chaos there. So basically, it eliminates all that stuff and it creates clarity. And I think the biggest thing about I'm hearing here, Michael is to me, what's in my heart, the reason I had you on the show today is because it creates better internal customer service because before when they used to call the owner of a company, uh, he might have to, he might be busy and they can't get, a, can't get a hold of him, right? And you got a Correct. customer who needs help now and you couldn't get a hold of the owner before or the, sale, or the salesperson before he's on a sales call. Correct. You are, the, the only purpose of your work is to serve that, sale, that service team, correct? Is that correct? Exactly. Yep. So you're ser serving the internal customer first to make sure the service people are have instant access to you as needed. And then on top of that, the customer gets instant access to those prices and those resources as well. And what, what is the customer feedback? I mean, the end user of, of that beta company you're working with, you, you must talk to some of these clients and get to know them pretty well because that's what we teach is how to connect yes. with people, right? Yep. Uh, what are some of the comments that some of those clients are making? If you can kind of share what, you know, the, the yeah. friendships and the relationships you've made with some of those clients. Tell us about that. When I when I first got into this, because uh, the virtual platform is what's very new to me with all this. I've, I've always done multiple options and kind of a call-by-call -call management system and those kind of things. But the virtual platform was very off-putting to a guy like me, right? And I was very concerned that homeowners wouldn't buy into it. And the moment they see that initial screen that says, this has been custom designed for the Crisera family home, it it's just money. They just, they, they absolutely love it. It takes away that you're trying to sell me something as into you're trying to help me. You're my friend. That's really great, and that's. Uh, have you had some fun with this, Michael? Is this uh, is this something you enjoy, you lo you love doing, or how? Tell us just off the record, personally. How how do you feel about doing this job right now? I absolutely love it. I mean, not only has it increased my productivity, I've gone from three calls, four calls a day, to being able to run five to seven. I don't have to leave my home. Um, and again, the the customers are just they're they're phenomenal. So, and for us as technicians or salespeople in the field, half of our battle is traffic, windshield time, and, um, you know, backups and crashes and all those kinds of things. So when you take all that frustration away and you can truly just focus on each call, it's just, a, it's a win, win, win for everyone. Well, Michael, it sounds great. Uh, how do people get a hold of you at free to grow and how, how do they get information on whether this is a good fit for their company or not. What can you, what can you do to help them? Um, so my direct number is 970-699-0021. My email is mbears, like grizzly, B-E-A-R-S, at free-2-grow.com. It's also down there in the bottom corner of my screen. Um, and if you want to check out a video, it's a really quick promo of what we're doing with the call by call and what free to grow is doing. You can go to www.free-2-grow.com. And that's got a pretty cohesive uh, sample of exactly what we're bringing to the table. Well, Michael, again, thank you so much for being not only a great student, but also a great ambassador for service MVP and for free to grow. And uh, definitely uh, the day I met you in person, uh, definitely I knew my life got better immediately that day. So de definitely thank you for uh, everything you've done to take our program and put it out there in the public and tell Charlie and Nathan that I'm very, I'm proud of you as well too. When I uh, see them, I love, I'm really proud of you too. I, I really sincerely appreciate that. I feel the same. I had always been on the fringes of all these trades groups and a lot of this stuff, and I wish I would have gotten involved with it sooner because I have certainly made just a handful of very, very great friends and great resources. So, oh, thank you, Mike. Thank you, Michael. 
I'll see you on the next. Well, how about how about this? We, we'll have you back on sometime in the future to give us another update as to how things are going. I definitely like to hear how the progress is working here, and definitely I'm excited about the uh, what the what the, pot, the turning these positive thoughts into reality and creating a service that's truly truly like none other that exists in this business. Thank you, Michael, for being part. Correct. Of that. Thank you so much for, for forging this uh, with, with the contracting industry. I appreciate that. Thank you, brother.